But no arrests yet in a rash of shootings in Portsmouth over the weekend. Good evening, I'm Tom Shad. And I'm Buddy Elena Baloris. As we've reported, four people were shot late Saturday night on Commonwealth Avenue. Then 30 minutes later, a man was shot and killed on Virginia Avenue. Ted on your side's Kiana Patterson has the latest on the investigation. Kiana? Yes, a mass shooting usually involves more than three people hurt. Well, as you reported, four people were hurt after a shooting on Saturday. And at last check, three are in serious condition and one may not survive. Portsmouth police leadership returned to Commonwealth Avenue Monday morning as this neighborhood is still traumatized. We just heard a bunch of gunshots, boom, 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 and we felt like we was in a war zone. In total, four people were shot around 11 o'clock Saturday night. For there will not be a next generation if this keep going on. Like many in the West Haven neighborhood, this woman is afraid to show her face and share her name, but she says she saw four young teens rush to the hospital. We got to take back our neighborhoods. Our children are dying too young. While investigating here, officers heard gunshots on Virginia Avenue. That's where they found a man dead from his injuries. Police have not said if the scenes are connected. Portsmouth Commonwealth Attorney Stephanie Morales hopes to stop violent crimes by addressing systemic factors. Ten of your side's investigations team asked if the recent shootings are possibly gang related. I can't speak to what it is until I get the facts in front of me. So I don't, you know, ever make a habit of guessing. Uh, we have to be meticulous about what we say and how we address things. Um, but what I do know is that all communities, um, all around our nation, all across our state, are dealing with some form of violence where individuals group together and, you know, harm communities. While the community is still finding evidence, from the quadruple shooting. And I went out to see if there were any bullet holes and I found uh, an extended magazine and uh, there were live rounds in the magazine. Forensics were back on the scene as the investigation continues. It's, it's scary, like never would have thought it would have happened so close to my own home. And police have not released any information on the recent shootings. The chief says a video will likely be released updating the public sometime later today. We will continue to follow this story. Keanu Patterson, tell on your side.